Hi everyone and welcome! Today let's make small meat pies with a buttery dough which does not have any yeast or baking powder in it. It's very simple to make and you can use any other fillings instead of meat if you prefer. To make the dough let's put in a bowl 250 grams of all-purpose flour, 200 grams unsalted room temperature butter, One hundred twenty five grams sour cream or plain Greek yogurt, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, And mix it all together till we have a soft dough ball which does not stick to hands. If the dough is too sticky, add a tablespoon of flour at a time because we don't want to add too much flour. Once the dough is ready, put it in a bowl, cover and put in the fridge for about an hour or longer if you're not ready to bake yet. In the meanwhile, let's prepare the filling for the mini meat pies. For the filling, I will use about 300 grams of ground meat, pork and beef mixed, one carrot, one medium-sized onion, three garlic cloves, and two tablespoons of tomato paste, as well as salt and pepper. First, I will grate the carrot. Then, cut the onion in small cubes. I will put everything on one plate as I will add them at the same time in the pan. And press or chop the garlic. Now we need to put some cooking oil in a frying pan, heat the pan and the oil and put the meat to fry. While the meat is frying I stir it occasionally Add about a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper and let it cook. Once the meat has cooked a bit, let's add and stir in the carrot, onion and garlic. And let them cook for about 5 minutes as well. Now I will add about 120 milliliters of water and two teaspoons of tomato paste. Mix everything, turn the stove to medium-low heat and let the meat simmer till the water is gone. Let's remove it from the stove, put the meat in a bowl and let it cool. I'm putting it in a bowl and stirring it once in a while for the meat to cool faster. Now we are ready to make the mini pies. Let's set the oven to heat to 220 degrees Celsius or 430 degrees Fahrenheit. And put a silicone baking mat or parchment paper in a baking tray and dust it with flour. Dust with some flour also the kitchen countertop. Let's remove the dough from the fridge. It has stiffened a little, but is soft. We also need a glass or a cup, which we will use for shaping the pirag. I will cut the dough in two pieces, not to roll all at once. Keep one piece and put the other one back in the bowl and back in the fridge. Let's roll the dough thin now. I use a bit of flour to prevent it from sticking to the rolling pin and the kitchen countertop, but only a bit and as necessary. When rolling the dough we don't need to push much as it is soft. I have it a few millimeters thick now, I don't want it to be too thin either, 
as it will be difficult to work with it. Now I will put the meat filling a few centimeters from the edge of the dough. I'm putting about 2 teaspoons to have the pie full with the filling and at the same time not to have them too big. Now I will fold the dough over the filling and press the dough lightly around it and cut out the pie with the help of the glass. The sides are closed now but to be on the safe side I will pinch the sides to make sure they are closed and prevent the pie from opening when it's baking. And it goes on the baking tray. The same way I will make all the pies till I have no more dough left. Let's break one egg in a glass, beat it with a fork and brush all the pies before putting them in the oven. Now it's time to put them in the oven to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes till the pies look golden brown. Let's remove them from the oven and leave them to cool for a few minutes in the baking tray before moving them to a plate. As there is a lot of butter and no yeast in the dough, the baked dough is thin, crispy, feels a bit layered and distantly resembles puff pastry. Happy baking and see you next week! Bye!